Hey guys, it is 6.30 a.m. This is a different type of video style as I'm used to doing. I'm doing a vlog type video today and this is my surprise video, I guess you can call it. So basically a lot of these products I'm going to be using, I hauled in a video. I did it yesterday, but it's not going up till two weeks after this one. So if you see me using products now and you're like, why are you now showing them in a haul? I actually filmed it before this video, just didn't post it. But so today is my at home prom and I decided to take you guys along and show you what I'm doing. So yeah, so I'm about to go take a shower and yes, I'm moving. <laughs> And I'm going to do a hair mask and a scrub. So obviously I'm going to shave and everything even though I don't show my legs. But anyways, no biggie. Um, I'm going to use my new Soli Janeiro Bum Bum Body Scrub. So this I'm going to exfoliate my body with. And it smells like a coconut dream. <laughs> and then after I wash my hair, I'm going to apply a hair mask. And the hair mask I'm going to use is the Brio Geo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. This is a new, new product. So, yes. And now I'm going to go hop in the shower, take a shower, and then come back when I'm done with my shower. Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm showered, my hair mask is off, and my hair is drying. So we're a little bit like balanced here. We are on two hand motions here, so you guys can like see my face. But now I'm gonna start my pore strip and do a face mask. So I'm using these Peace Out pores for these from Peace Out Skincare. But these have to stand for six hours. And I have pictures at 3, 3.30. So I want these off by like 1, 1 1.30. So if I put them on now, it should be done by then. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to do the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Mask. There is a video coming completely on the Ordinary. So this is the beginning of me trying Ordinary products out. But yes, we're going to apply that right now in the pore strip. <laughs> So let's do that. So as you open it up, I've never used these pore strips before. I've always used Bure or Bure, but then they said they're not bad. So they're not good, so. And then they recommended these ones, Skincare by Hiram. But yes, so I am grabbing one of the little packages. It looks exactly like the Bure ones, except like a different like look to the packaging. It's not just black. And let me take it out. There is two things here. They are way thicker, guys. These are like rubber too. So, okay. I believe you apply it to your wet nose. Apply a nose strip or pore strip tacky side down on clean, dry skin. Okay. So, this is the nose strip and then this is the pore strip. I'm doing the pore strip on my chin and the nose strip on my nose. So, and they're on. I'm going to be talking weird for the whole day. Hey guys, so I am back. I don't know why I came back just to apply a mask. But I did. So these have a little scrubbies in it, this mask. It's like an exfoliating mask, I think. It feels lovely though. Like that, it look like a hobo. But yes, we're gonna wash this off in about 10 minutes, no more than 10 minutes. So yes, and then when I get back, I'll be in like doing my hair, but right now I'm gonna go eat breakfast. Peace. Hey guys, I am back and I'm in my room and it's about like two, ouch, sorry Mitchie, two hours later, it is around like 9 30 10 o'clock and i'm now going to wax my eyebrows so the wax i use to do my eyebrows is the hard wax beans via yeah, their natural wax these and you melt them and when you melt them they look like this and um i had rings in my light in my eyes because i have my little mirror here to look what i'm doing i still have my patches on my face i look ridiculous but basically i'm going to take my little spatula buddy here it's i feel like i could have melted it a little bit longer but it is all good because it's very stringy which i guess is normal but 
no yeah okay so i need to go melt this a little longer it's um a few seconds and not hot enough so i will be back i'm back sorry if you guys hear voices in the background because you know i have a family other than myself in this house but we're gonna try this again quicker so we have the wax and we're gonna apply this to the eyebrow area and then just twist to get the excess off and it does look a little weird so we're just gonna leave that on for a few seconds it doesn't require wax like strip pieces or anything you just rip like the actual wax piece off so we're gonna apply some to the other under eye like under the under the brow on the other side whoa that is it but this i just wanted to like check in and show you what i was doing but it's not really exciting so i'm going to check back in with you guys when i am doing my nails peace hey guys so i am back i'm gonna move you guys back i'm sorry if this isn't okay it's not really helping but um you guys cannot really see me very well but i'm in my living room and i'm about to paint my nails i'm gonna sit like this so you can see me so i'm doing my toenails first so i'm using this tamika base coat um and then i'm gonna paint it with this color it is the vernus soak off uv led pro gel polish it is an opaque white uh, let's make sure this is the opaque white and not the lavender. Yep, it's it looks like that. It's a white color. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to use my um, PC brand, the top coat. And I'm going to grab you guys. And this is the UV light. Wow, this is such good filming. This is the UV light I'm using for my nails. So all this is mostly off of Amazon except for these type of polishes. These are all from a salon for like real esthetician, like nail polish. But yes, so I'm going to basically just do my toenails off camera. But then for my fingernails, I'm going to do like kind of like a small time lapse of it. And I'm going to show you the result of both. So I will see you when I'm doing my fingernails. Peace. Hey guys, so it's around 11 o'clock and I'm doing my nails right now. So I just applied the gel to my nails. So I'm using all to one of my hands. So as you guys can see, it's like jelly looking, shiny. So these are the extensions I used and then I went in with the Gelish Lead Clear Builder Nail Gel. And yeah, I'm going to do gel on my other hand and then come back and do a time lapse of the color. But I'm going to show you the colors I'm going to use now. It's the same bottom coat and the same top coat, just the shiny one. And then I'm using the gel polish, soak off gel polish in this silvery color. I can open it up for you guys. It's like a silvery sparkly color. I'm using that just on my ring finger. Like... You know, like this finger and then on the other fingers it's matching my like not really exactly but my dress is burgundy and i'm using this red nail polish that is the color it looks pink on camera but it is way more red in person yeah there you go so yes so i'm going to do the gelish gelish the gel polish on my other hand and then come back and do like a time lapse of the rest of my nail doings peace Hey guys, so I am back and I have one hand in the cooker and I have one hand done, but I'm not going to show you yet because I'm going to do a final reveal at the end. So now I'm going to do time lapse of the rest of the time doing my nails. So I hope you guys enjoy that and let's do the time lapse.
So I'm back and now my nails are complete and I'm going to show you them. So first my toes. Um, I'm having trouble being able to turn this camera around. It doesn't want to. So I'm going to show you like this. So these are the toes. They are just plain white. And then the nails are the most important part. They are silver and red. And I did them myself. I did not get them done, obviously, because Corona. I know they are open, but I don't feel comfortable doing that yet. So I did them myself. Yes. So now we're going to be going to go do my sister's hair and makeup. And I'll catch back to you guys when I'm taking the pore strips off and doing my hair and makeup. Peace. <clears throat> hey guys, so we are back in my room and we are about to do our hair. Yes, our bleached, damaged hair um we just i just like blow dried it like ran it over a bit very quickly because it was still a little bit wet i used the con air little multicolored hair dryer and i heat protected with my moroccan oil um perfect defense for all hair types protect up to 450 degrees fahrenheit but I'm gonna redo my ends a bit because my ends are so dead, yo. Even though I do cut them every six months and I have dyed my hair back to brown. It's been almost a year, guys, since I dyed my hair back to like my blacky brown hair. But yes, so I'm just re like heat fying, re like protective heat spray into my ends. And I'm going to curl my hair. I use the Jerome Alexander Salon Style Professional Hair Wand Curler thing. Yes. So once I think I've let the heat protectant set a bit, I kind of just brush it through and just then I can start doing my hair so yes i still have bleach in my ends under my hair obviously just because i dyed it back to brown does not mean the bleach has gone away um so yeah i do still have bleach underneath as you can tell it's like blonde at the end still but yes so i'm gonna grab my scrunchie and i'm gonna try i'm never good at this part on myself um to section off pieces of my hair into sections so I can curl it easier. Okay, so looks hella great. <laughs> I'm kidding, it really does not at this moment. But then I'm just refreshing my hair one last time, you know? One last time. One. And because I don't know how, but there's still knots in my hair. And then I'm gonna quickly show you how to do one strand of curl. So, how I like to do it is I also like to grab both sides of my hair and then section one off with an elastic even after my hair is already up in a bun on top of my head. I just like to do this as well. Like that or like in a little ponytail just so they don't get mixed up and mixed together. And then I grab my little curling wand. Yes, it is heated up. I actually just did my sister's hair. And yeah, so it's very much heated up but i just take it and i rotate back and forth from doing it this way and doing it the other way i'll show you what i mean and then i just hold it and then you let it go and that's what my curl looks like it's a very like it's very thin like it's a small wand it's definitely not even a one inch i don't think it's like half an inch probably and then when i grab my next piece i wrap it around in the opposite oh that's way too much hair I wrap it around in the other direction, like so, which I also find very hard to do myself. I wrap it around the other way and then I just let it sit once again. And once it's done, it should be a very, very cute little curl. I'm trying to make sure. Oh, okay. And then, yes, so we're going to continue with this. We're going to do a little time lapse here now. And yeah, so I'll see you when I'm doing my makeup. Oh, actually, when I take these pore strips off, so enjoy the time lapse.
so we are taking the pore strip off and if you guys do not like disgusting things do not look now but so it's been on for six hours we're gonna remove the chin one first it's literally like glue on my face so i don't know how i'm gonna get this off and it hurts guys first of all left marks on my face okay that's the chin kind of disgusting there's a lot of oil on there like the not even just the white dots guys like there's like actual like liquid oil in there oh wait my mom and dad wanted me to show them that and then now we're gonna do the nose which is the one that had the most crap in it so let's remove that oh my gosh well my pores look clean and that's the nose guys So now I'm going to go finish up my hair and then I'll show you guys the finishing results. So I'm now doing my makeup. Hair is done. I will do like a full reveal later, but I just apply my milk makeup primer and we're just gonna, I think we're mostly gonna do a time lapse of this just because it's easier that way so yes so time lapse shall start now now stopping the time lapse and let me know if you guys would like a full tutorial of the makeup look that I'm doing right now. Peace. When I popped off, then your girl gave me just a little bit of lot chop, baby so cool. I could stand on a star I wish I could be where you are They say don't you ever give up It's so hard to be something when you're not But I Hey guys, so now that I am done with my like little like at home prom, I just want to take a moment to thank all my family and friends who helped put this together. And I just want to say to all the class of 2020, not just from my school, but from all around the world, um, congratulations, you guys deserved it. We are all equal no matter what year we graduated in but guys we're done we did this and yeah congratulations to all the class of 2020 and i encourage you guys all 
to just have a little get together with everyone in your house and just get dressed up and have fun. I'm not encouraging people to start a huge house party with 80 people or invite people from out of your house. I'm saying enjoy the little things in life that we can't have right now during quarantine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and yeah, see you guys next week. Peace out.